Hey everybody, this is example number 10 for steel design for tension members. The problem statement that we have is we're asked to determine the required rod size of a threaded rod that is to be used as a bracing member and it must resist a tensile dead load of 5 kips and a tensile live load of 10, of 10 kips and the material is A36 steel and we need to do this using LRFD and ASD so before we proceed to the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. And here's their website, it's Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, Academic licensing is available through Bentley, and if you're a practicing engineer and you want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And now going back to our threaded rod problem. So we'll, we'll uh, use the LRFD approach first. So the first thing we have to do is calculate the factored load. And the factored load is going to be done uh, using ASCE 7 load combinations. ASCE 7 load combinations. And for LRFD, it's going to be equal to 1.2 times dead load plus 1.6 times live load. So in our case, that's 1.2 times 5 kips plus 1.6 times 10 kips. So the factored load is equal to 22 kips. So the next thing we're going to do is calculate the required area. And using AISC uh, equation J3-1, the nominal tensile strength of this threaded part is given by Fn times AB. And so Fn is a nominal tensile stress. And we're going to get that from table J3-2. And AB is a nominal unthreaded body area of the threaded part, so the cross-sectional area. And so to get the design strength, we just multiply both uh, sides by the resistance factor. And this is a tensile, this is a limit state of tensile rupture. So the resistance factor in LRFD is equal to 0 0.75. So here's what we have. And now, um, so the design strength, the design tensile strength is equal to the resistance factor times FNT, which we're going to get from table J3-2, as I mentioned earlier, multiplied by AB. So to clarify more, the resistance factor is equal to 0 0.75. And FNT, if we go, if we go to table J3-2 and we see in the row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6. So the 6th and 7th row, we see the nominal tensile stress, FNT, is equal to 0 0.75 times the ultimate strength. So this is FNT. And so this uh, value for FNT, it covers in table J3-2, this covers the threaded parts. And then multiply by AB. So we're, we're solving for AB, the cross-sectional area. So we just rearrange this equation. And so the cross-sectional area, the required cross-sectional area is equal to the factored load divided by 0 0.75 times 0 0.75 times the ultimate strength, ultimate tensile strength. And now we plug in the numbers and we find that the required cross-sectional area is equal to 0 0.6743 inches squared. And that is also equal to 
the cross-sectional area is also equal to pi d squared over 4. So using this relationship, we can calculate, uh, we can calculate the diameter. So the diameter is equal to the square root of four times the cross the uh, four times the cross sectional area divided by pi. So we find that the required diameter is equal to 0 0.927 inches. So for design purposes, we'll just say uh, we'll use a one inch diameter threaded rod, and so our cross sectional area is equal to 0 0.785 inches squared. So now that we're done with the LRFD approach, we're just going to do the ASD approach. So again, we first calculate the factored load based on ASCE 7 load combinations, and that's equal to dead load plus live load for ASD. So it's 5 kips plus 10 kips equals 15 kips. And so the nominal, uh, so the allowable tensile strength is equal to the nominal tensile strength divided by the safety factor. So here, this upper portion, this numerator, is a nominal strength. Again, it's equal to Fn times AB. And then we divide it by the safety factor here for ASD. And this is our allowable strength. And so we just simplify or clarify it more. So Fnt times AB divided by the safety factor. Clarifying even more. So this factored load is equal to FNT times AB divided by the safety factor. And FNT, the nominal tensile stress, stress is uh, based on table J3-2, is equal to 0 0.75 times the ultimate tensile strength. Multiplied by the cross-sectional area. And then the safety factor is 2.0 in ASD for a tensile rupture case. So we rearrange this equation, and we find that uh, the factor load, the allowable, uh, the allowable strength is equal to 0 0.375 times, times the ultimate strength times the cross-sectional area of this threaded part. We rearrange this equation, and we plug in the numbers. So the required cross-sectional area is equal to the factored load divided by 0 0.375 times the ultimate tensile strength. So 15 kips divided by 0 0.375 times 58 KSI. And maybe I didn't mention this earlier, but A36 steel, the yield is uh, Fy is 36 KSI, and F sub U is equal to 58 KSI, the ultimate strength. So the required cross-sectional area of this threaded part is equal to 0 0.6897 inches squared, and it's equal to pi d squared over 4. So now we just rearrange the equation and solve for d, so the diameter. So the diameter is equal to 4 times the cross-sectional area, 0 0.6897 inches squared, and divided by pi, and we take the square root of that. And so the required diameter is equal to 0 0.937 inches. So for design purposes, again, uh, we're going to use one inch diameter threaded rod. And the cross-sectional area for this is equal to 0 0.785 inches squared. So this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please visit the website. It's engineeringexamples.net. And sign up for our mailing list where we'll keep you up to date on the latest engineering content that, we'll, that we produce. And also like the Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash engineeringexamples. Thanks.